For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to talk about Touch I.O. as a proximity sensor. So you may be familiar with Touch I.O. and CircuitPython as a way to access CAP touch, CAP sensing. And it's often used as a, am I touching or am I not touching the pad, the copper thing, the penny and the alligator clip, uh, the conductive ink, whatever it is. Uh, you can use your capacitance and this antenna of some kind, in this case I've got a, a wire antenna here, to sense if something gets touched. But you don't have to just use it as a binary switch, you can also use it as a sort of proximity sensor. So what I'm going to do is over here in Moo, I'm going to turn on the plotter. And you can see here it's kind of uh, noisy because it's just looking at a, a, a sort of low range right now and I'm not doing any filtering, so it is by nature a little bit noisy. Uh, but what you'll see is as I bring my hand closer to this coil of wire and it establishes a new range, as I get closer and farther, we're actually getting a sort of analog value based on how close or far I am to this coil with about, I don't know, three, four inch uh, proximity sensing. I actually touched it there, which really sends it up through the roof, uh, and now my, my baseline will be a little bit lower. Uh, but you can see there, it's actually really useful for things where you want to be able to control sort of like a slider or a pot, uh, a little bit of an analog value using your proximity to the board. The way this works is I am importing time, I'm importing board so I can get pin definitions, and I'm importing touch I.O. Then I sleep for a couple seconds, and this allows me to kind of get my hands away from it after hitting reset so that it doesn't calibrate with me near the antenna, because the first thing it'll do is when I create this touch object, touch I.O. dot touch in, and pick one of the touch capable pins, in this case, uh, pin A3 on the RP2040 prop maker, it will calibrate a base value. The next thing I do is grab the value that it's currently at, so I don't want to be touching it during this time either, uh, and it's going to take that value and then I'll be able to subtract that from reads as I go so that I get a, a nice neat value when I am hovering over the board. In the main loop, I'm just saying proximity value equals the touch raw value minus that original uh, touch minimum, and then I'm in this case printing that out and I've set it up as a tuple so that I can use the, uh, the neat little graph here inside of Moo. And then I sleep just so that I'm not spamming the, uh, the airwaves there too much. And so that is how you can use Touch I.O. for proximity sensing inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec. <laughs>